Although the study of aerodynamics dates back long before the days of Grand Prix racing, it's fair to say early cars weren't much more streamlined than one of these. As with so many other technical developments, it was racing that pushed aerodynamics forward when competitors chased land speed records and experimented with aerodynamic shapes for their cars. When Grand Prix racing was launched in the 1950s, the classic cigar-shaped car was designed to power through the air as quickly as possible. Then, in 1968, a revolution occurred. Colin Chapman became the first designer to introduce wings to his Lotus Formula One car and changed F1 aerodynamics forever. Wings helped F1 cars to stick to the track around corners by creating downforce, like an upside-down aeroplane wing, meaning more grip, higher cornering speeds and faster lap times. Aerodynamics completely changed the shape of cars throughout the 70s and 80s. Designers found innovative new ways to use the airflow over the car's bodywork to create more and more downforce, but with less and less drag. With so much work going into aerodynamics, F1 teams invested in expensive and sophisticated wind tunnels to measure the effectiveness of their new design ideas and create more and more outlandish shapes. In 2014, sweeping new changes in F1 have affected aerodynamics, meaning teams have to find new ways to claw back the downforce lost this year. History shows that they'll almost certainly do it.